Hi everybody, Allison here with the Everyday Scrapbooker and I am dropping in to share with you another Scrap With Your Scraps video. Before I got this layout started, I knew that I wanted to include stitching and I knew that I wanted to include mixed media. So I started with a fresh sheet of white cardstock. I sprayed some inks in the background. I used dilution Dilutions. Calypso Teal and I also used Heidi Swap Color Shine in Citrin and sprayed those in the background and then added some splatters as well with the same colors. And then I traced some circles with a circle that I had cut ages ago um, with a pencil and then realized that wasn't going to work if I wanted to stitch it a bunch of times. So I went back over it with my paper piercing tool taping the circle in place and then making the circles around making piercing the holes around the circle there we go <laughs> until it was done and then stitched and then started the process over again I did that three times any more than that would take way too long <laughs> so three times only I stitched the background circles in gold embroidery thread and then I drew just a few more with a black journaling pen just to complete sort of the messy circle look. After I got that done I decided that I wanted to add some navy blue splatter so I added some of that splatter as well with Heidi Swap Color Shine in navy and I concentrated the navy colors where the embellishment floral clusters are going to go. You can see me working on them right now. I dove into my stash to create the embellishment clusters and the photo mat, the mats behind the photo that you see. I trimmed my photo down just a little bit so it wasn't quite four by six inches and then layered some journaling cards that I had in my stash behind my photo. All the flowers that are going to be in the clusters also came from journaling cards. So if you have journaling cards in your stash and you don't necessarily pocket page scrapbook or maybe you do both, a great way to use up your journaling cards is by cutting them apart. I looked for any journaling cards that had flowers in them and I cut them out of the journaling cards. I also cut a little strip border from one of the journaling cards as well because some of them are already built in with simple things like borders. So cut those out if you want to use them. So the border is layered underneath the rainbow on the journaling card turned into pocket. It was a journaling card that I had cut something out of previously, so there was a little half circle at the top of it, and I was like, that would make a perfect envelope. So I glued some white cardstock that was the same size to the back of it, slipped another piece of white cardstock inside it. That's where my journaling is going to go. I'm not actually going to do that in this video because it's time consuming and would make the video too long. And then I also, um, doodled some more black lines around the piece that goes inside the envelope as well just to dress it up a little bit and it actually matches very closely to the black lines on the outside of the envelope as well so that's another great way to use up journaling cards <laughs> I literally just went to town on my journaling cards, cutting them apart, cutting out flowers and florals and things that I would work, I thought would work on this layout, and then added them to the layout. I made sure the floral clusters made my visual triangle, so it takes your eye around the entire layout, not just one specific place. I found the flower that I'm playing with right now in my little bits and bobs storage. I've had that floating around for a long time and wanted to add a little bit more yellow throughout the layout. So I added that yellow flower to the top cluster with the navy blue flowers. 
I added two other yellow flower stickers from the sticker sheet that I was just had in my hand and I also pulled out some chipboard to add a little bit more hot pink to the layout as well because I wanted some more pink in the layout. At this point I felt like there wasn't enough navy blue splatter so I took out the Heidi Swap color shine and added a little bit more just to make it a little bit more pronounced. I wanted to stick with the blues and greens in this layout, picking up the colors that were in the photo of my daughter. So the journaling is, I mean, it's not a secret, but um, kind of just explains what a joy my daughter is, although being her mother often is a challenge as well. She is very much a leader and knows what she likes and doesn't like and sometimes that makes parenting interesting. <laughs> so I just documented that in my journaling. I used my alpha stamps to do the journaling as well. You can see that I'm just drawing lines around the journaling card right now. I made them really messy just to kind of match the lines that are on the outside of my homemade envelope as well. And then you may see me start, nope, I was going to say, you may see me start the stamping and then I move on to something else, but I just totally cut it out. To finish the layout off, I decided to add just a couple other flowers to the rainbow that were part of a cut apart sheet that also came from my stash. I'll add the date and with that, the layout is pretty well done. I decided that I wanted to get the... Um, messiest parts of creating this layout out of the way first and then start the video so that um, I could save time basically and make my video a little bit shorter. <laughs> okay so to complete the layout I decided that I wanted to add more gold so I started off with gold enamel dots that I had in my stash and sprinkled them around the layout following the circle. I also added light pink and uh, teal enamel dots as well just to bring a little bit more color throughout the layout and around the page and with that my layout is done there are some close-ups at the end of this video so if you're interested in seeing those stick around for that i will also include links to the products that i used in this layout if you're interested in those as well Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you dropping in and leaving comments and liking my videos. And I hope I see you again in the future. Thanks for joining me. Bye guys.